What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm your girl Lana Marie and today for you, I'm bringing you what's inside of our family pool bag and setup. This is gonna be everything that we bring with us to the pool. It's getting ready to start getting really hot here. So we're gonna take full advantage of our neighborhood pool. And I'm gonna show you guys a few things that we bring along with us and all of that good stuff because you know what? I like to be prepared. You guys know that. So if you're looking for a minimalist channel and how to bring the least amount of items possible, this is not for you. If you're someone that likes to be well prepared and have everything under the sun just in case, then you found the right girl and the right channel. <laughs> if you're into this sort of video, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organization videos here on my channel. I would just love for you guys to join the fam. I'm gonna be listing everything I can find for you down below. That's one thing I pride myself in is having an extensive down bar. I will list everything as well as my website and my Amazon influencer link. And if you feel like depositing some positive energies and you enjoy videos like this, like what's inside my bag, because this is what's inside my pool bag, give your girl a thumbs up. Now question of the day is what type of bag do you guys like to do? How do you carry or transport your things? And is there any particular items that you have to have when you're by the pool? Let us know in the comments below so we can share information with our friends in this wonderful community that we've got going on here. Now, if you guys wanna see what my family of six brings, what type of bag and setup we have to go to the pool, then just keep watching. Hello beautiful ones. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my three bag system. So here are my three bags. I am obsessed. I love how sleek and expensive they look and they were all super affordable from Amazon. So I'm really, really happy with them. They're huge and I don't have like a bunch of little things. Everything fits inside of here and I'm just obsessed with them. So definitely check them out. I'll be leaving them down in the description box. And next up we have the snacks because you can't go to the pool without snacks. I have a whole video on um, some different recipes you guys can make for the pool or beach. So definitely check that out. I'll be listing that down below as well. But check this snack box out. Like, are you serious? We have mustard. We have um, peanut butter. Then we have Nutella. I have these different pretzels, okay? So you can dip in Nutella, then dip into the M&Ms or dip however you want to, but like how fun is this? Salami, cheese. Then we have some of these thin Ritz. Like this was such a hit, you guys. Like my kids tore it up, like needless to say. Then next up we have this little snack box and we did veggies, pickles, and onion dip. And we always do half sour cream and half Greek yogurt. So it's like a healthier version, which it's so good. My family's obsessed with it. I make it all the time. So this is definitely another good healthy snack to have. And I just love how compact and sleek they are. I just shove them right into the bag and they just work out perfectly. So love these containers. Next up, we have my black Coleman cooler, and I love this. It's absolutely the perfect size. It's not too big because I feel like if it was any bigger, we'd need two people to carry it, and the whole point is to make this easy and accessible, so I just, I love it. I have two little freezer packs that I stuck down in the bottom there that I just wanted to show you guys, and then I'm gonna start loading this up. So first of all, we're putting in Zevia, which I'm obsessed with. It's Stevia sweetened soda, so it's, way better for you than regular soda. It doesn't have all those nasty ingredients. And then we have some organic juice um, boxes for the kids. Then we're putting our snack container first, because I don't want my sandwiches touching all that stuff. And then we're putting the sandwiches right on top. And honestly, that's all we put in there. That's all we needed to go inside of here. You can also add waters and all that, but I'm showing you guys a clip of my kids tearing up those Hawaiian sandwiches. They're obsessed with them. They actually requested to eat them for dinner the same day. And I said, okay, sure. So save me money. So me and my husband got something else, but they literally finished the rest of the sandwiches for their dinner. All right, you guys. So I'm going to start showing you guys what's inside of my bag. So here is the big mama jamma all filled up. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, I can zip it if I put that little handle down, but honestly, it didn't even matter. It's so big and roomy, it just, it's perfect. And I just wanted to give you guys like a look of the front and on the side, how wide it was. I feel like sometimes when people show bags, they don't give you like a real good idea of how big the bag is. So 
I just wanted to show you guys that because it's one of those things that's important to me. So anyways, I just throw the little snack container on top because the snack container won't fit in that cooler just so you guys know. And then I have my little cup holder. I wanted to show you guys like how it works. You squeeze it and it just sticks on whatever you want. Like honestly, it's so sturdy. It's crazy. And then I just stuck my soda, my organic carrot tanning oil. I just love it so much. It makes things so much easier than having to find a table to put the chair by or whatever. And I don't want to set it on the ground. I get creeped out about bugs. <laughs> I need to see my stuff. So anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys a little clip of the kids. I'm having to dump some of the M&Ms off my son's because he thought, oh, let's shovel M&Ms in our mouth. I was like, no boy, that's not how we do it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I put it out and then it was gone like vultures. I'm like, wow. So this was a huge hit. They felt so special. Like they just, it was just like, wow, mom, that is so awesome. I love it so much. You're like, thank you. So I know if you guys make this, you're going to be a hero because I know I was. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys, you know I love standing everything up like file folders so I can see everything. I think it's just so important when you're trying to find things that you can actually see them. If they fall to the bottom, you're pretty much screwed. So I tell everybody, stack them up. I like things back in the way that they came. And the first thing we do is we put the life jackets on people. You guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below to Jordan Page's uh, blog post, but she just wrote a blog post about having your kids by the pool and it was just a heartbreaking story but it's something that we all need to hear if you guys are by the pool try to pay as much attention to your kids it only takes three seconds to drown and drowning is the third leading death among children so i just wanted to put that out there because since i have a platform i definitely want to help families and parents all right moving on to our next item this is our water jug you guys this works so so well i'm obsessed with it i actually had one of these when i used to play softball as a kid and it was a little bit different. You actually had to like, there was like a straw type of thing you had to suck out of, but this one pours. My kids all use it. So I just fill this up. It's a half gallon and it's perfect. It's the right amount of water for my kids and I can just refill it if I need to. So love that thing. I'm so glad I bought it. Okay, so next up we have the toys. Now this was a huge hit, you guys. These toys were amazing every single one which I'm gonna show you guys but I love this little bag that I put it into it made it super convenient this was the number one this little treasure chest it sinks to the bottom it has all these coins and gems and I had a little girl literally walking up to me and her mom's like no stop don't bother them I was like no it's okay she's like can I see what's inside I was like sure like every little kid was trying to grab it like it was so funny so if you want to be a rock star hero definitely pick this up I will definitely be linking it for you guys, but it is amazing. And all the coins sink, all the gems sink. You can actually put the coins at the top. I even had my husband playing games with the kids and I would throw them out and we'd have different um, points for each one. And I even had, my husband's really good at swimming, so I would have him put the coins in underwater and see how many he could put in. So we just had such a great day. Next up we have this little fishnet, I bought this for my one and a half year old daughter and she loved it. And also my eight year old daughter, they both played with this and the fish also sink to the bottom. They actually sink pretty fast, which is surprising. Um, and then we have this dive set. This is from Toy Story, which I got this for my three year old son and he loved it as well. And they're really big, so it's great for beginners. You don't have to like pick up those little coins. That'll take a little bit more time, but they're great. So anyways, I put them back into this case with the handle and I just grabbed that case and when we're in the pool, we would just grab it and go take it over there and stick everything back in there. So if they weren't playing with, I'd put it back in the bag. So I always made sure we had all of our toys because I hate going to the pool and losing stuff. That's like my pet peeve. So anyways, here are my little pouches like I always put in my little file folder system like I tell you guys. And the first bag we have an inflatable. I'm adding one more inflatable for my son. He was like, um, where's my inflatable? Then I have my daughter's swim hat, which you'll see her in a little bit later on. And then we have these swim diapers, which are reusable, which is great. You wash them just like a bathing suit. And that way you don't have to keep repurchasing them because I feel like they're kind of pricey. I'm like, why are they more expensive than regular diapers? I don't understand. But anyways, um, so I just keep the little diaper in with the hat. And then the other one has all of our goggles. I just like to keep everything together so we know where everything's at. 
And I wanted to show you guys this little set. These are actually for toddlers, which is great. So I have um, two toddlers and we'll just have an extra pair that I'll have for later, but I will link the set down below for you guys as well. And I just put everything back into the bag if I'm not using it. It's just so important to me to just have a clear area. I'm keeping this bag out because like I said, we'll just be grabbing it and going to whatever section of the pool we're in. And um, I just start sticking everything where it goes. Next up, this is my diaper bag system. I've shown this to you guys before. If you wanna check out the whole video and how I made it, I have a video, it's called Disneyland stroller and how I pack my stroller. I'll link that for you guys. But basically I have this little hook here and if I wanna change her diaper, I hook it up. I could put the towel over us, change her right there, pull the wipes out, everything is so easy. I have butt cream and butt spray and it's amazing. Like literally this is one of my favorite things that I made up. I'm like, I need to box this up and sell it, you know? <laughs> but um, it's usually a travel kit, but um, I turned it into a diaper system. All right, so next up, I like to hang my bag on the side here. So that way it's out of the way and I don't lose anything and stuff doesn't get spread out. Cause I don't know about you, but my kids start standing on top of everything if stuff is not in their place. Like yesterday, my shoes had dirt all over them because the kids were standing on top. I'm like, really? Now I've shown you guys this bag before. I got this from PB Teen. I'll try to link it or find something similar for you guys. It's super old, so I highly doubt they're gonna have it, but I have pretty much the same stuff in here as I did before. Um, but I did add a couple new things, like I added a razor, which I totally forgot to shave my legs today. Don't tell anybody, but I might literally go to the bathroom and go shave my legs. <laughs> so, and then we have um, shaving cream, which now I started putting in there. You guys have seen the rest of this stuff, but I just thought I would show you guys again. I love this organic tanning oil. It smells good. I absolutely love it. Then I have this Juice Beauty. This one is for your face. It's organic as well. And then I just have some, oh, this is the aloe vera. I just decanted it and put it inside of this container. And I just have some vitamins or whatever, but that's the main stuff. And then here's the other bag. I love this, you guys. It's so sturdy. It's got like metal bars holding it up so it keeps the structure. I love a good structured bag. Like structured bags are my jam. So everything is up so I can see it just like a file folder system just like before I love how it has this little velcro strap so you can grab everything easily and it won't hurt your shoulder I just wanted to show you guys how wide it was it also has pockets on either side I'll be getting into each pocket and showing you guys what's in there so we have these waterproof things for iPads and for cell phones I like having these in here just in case you know it's like really wet wherever we're at I have Ziploc bags, little garbage bags, and then I also have a little hand sanitizer pump. And I really love this brand, you guys, of hand sanitizer. It's like an all natural brand and it doesn't smell as bad as some of them smell, so I love it. Okay, so I always bring my water jug. I've shown you guys this before. I love the little rubber sleeve at the bottom. And then this is our family sunglass case. Now it's actually a travel container that I converted to a sunglass holder. But if you have a huge family, it's so hard corralling all your sunglasses. So even me and my husband keep our sunglasses in here. And I keep two kids in each one and then me and my husband get our own. But I just love that we all have ours together and I don't have to keep saying, where's the sunglasses? Where are the sunglasses? Grab, grab your sunglasses. Like nobody really wants to do that. So after we leave or on our way out the door, wherever we're going, I'm like, everybody give me your sunglasses. I'm putting them in the bag. So it works out perfectly. It's such a good system. I highly suggest this if you guys have a big family like I do. Okay, next up in here we have our t uh, robe towels. And this is for at the very end, I strip the kids. Well, I put their robes on first and I pull down their bathing suits so they don't have to go home in wet clothes. My kids were like, oh my gosh, mom, thank you so much. They were so happy because usually when they go with their dad, of course, he's not doing that. I take off my baby's diapers. I put a fresh diaper on. They're just like literally in cloud nine. <laughs> so everybody goes home in a dry robe. And then I have some wet ones down there. Now I'm actually housing everything in this Ikea like square thing. I'll see if I can find one with similar dimensions for you guys and list it for you. But I like having it in the middle here so it basically acts as a divider and it divides everything so things don't fall over as I pull other things out. So I think it's great to have things in your um, organization to help 
things stay standing up. Then I have our wet bag. So as I'm handing them their robes and taking off their bathing suits, everything goes into the wet bag. I have a bigger gray one, but honestly, this one was just fine for us. Next up is my favorites. You guys, my kids used almost everything inside of here, even my husband. And my husband's like, I'm not going to use all that stuff. And it was so funny because literally almost every item got used. The band-aids, the like, oh my gosh. So this is also a travel set or um, travel bag that I converted to my little family emergency kit. I'm going to go through each item with you guys because I feel like this is my pride possession for the pool to have all of these things on me because it really, really came in handy. Here's just a quick little overview of everything up close. And then next up. So this is the bag after I labeled everything because I just felt like it needed labels. I wanted things to go back where they belonged and I don't feel like you should hold your family responsible if they don't know where it's gonna go. They're not gonna memorize it. So I feel like it's my job if I want it to go where I want it to go to label everything. You guys know I'm a weirdo. <laughs> All right, so we have Q-tips and cotton to apply some of the stuff I have that I'll show you guys in a sec. All right, then I have Band-Aids, Neosporin, Anti-Itch Cream, Calamine Lotion, Tylenol. I have stuff for my dot, bug spray. We have lens wipes, sanitizer, Lysol spray, Tide Stick, dish soap, just in case you need to wash anything. I feel like it's super important to have that. Then we have SPF, lotion, deodorant. We have body wash, just in case you guys wanna wash off at, um, at the pool. Um, we have floss, toilet seat covers, which let me show you guys. I always have these on me. I think it's great when you're in public restroom, going to public restrooms to have these just in case they don't have their, theirs or they didn't refill them because ugh, sometimes it's gross. Anyways, we have bobby pins and hair ties in these little test tube containers, which I'm obsessed with. You guys have seen these in some of my other videos. And I'm going to just try to take these out for you so you can see what they look like. But I just love feeling anything I can fill inside of these. I will. <laughs> so much fun. And then right next to that, we have detangle spray. And then I have a brush, which you guys, I feel like these are my new favorite brushes. They feel so good on your scalp. I know it's like stimulating your scalp too. When you use it, it reminds me of my hair growth brush. And then we have sunblock and after sun spray. Like you guys saw, I have aloe vera in my bag and a tanning oil, so I don't need that in this one. So I just put the after sun care, and this is by, this is by Pacifica. And my husband said it definitely did help, so this is a great thing to have in your bag for after sun care. All right, so love that bag. Then I have all of our towels right next to that, and I roll them and I stand them straight up so we can grab them. I don't have to pull them all out or break a nail, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm linking a, a uh, towel that's very similar to this. It has the same pattern. It just doesn't have the same shape. The one I found is round, which I really like as well. And then I've had these towels for a long time. These are such good quality, you guys. Definitely check them out. And then this one says reserved. I love reserved towels. It's like, I'm important, you know? <laughs> and um, I just wanted to show you guys this. When I step away from my stuff, I always cover my stuff with a towel. I feel like I want to do a whole series on like street smarts, but it just keeping honest people honest there's just like less stuff to look at and you just throw your towel over and that's it you know what i mean it's just an extra precaution you can take to make sure people aren't seeing everything that you have and getting enticed maybe to grab something that's not theirs next up we have these pool noodles and what i did is i took this strap that is for my kids it's one of those tethering straps and i just wrapped it around you could I'm sure use a um, bungee cord or whatever, but this worked out perfect because I had an extra one that we weren't using. I already have ones attached to my stroller and now my daughter carries this. They're not like flopping all over the place. It's just so perfect, but I'm just giving you guys a little peek of the kids playing with their stuff and having such a good time. Everything worked out. We literally use everything in my little emergency pack and I'm seriously so happy with the way stuff turned out the whole day The kids were like this is awesome mom We stayed for four hours and I feel like that's a really long time when you have two toddlers out in the sun But we just had everything we needed. We had all the food we had literally it just worked out so good and my kids used every single item that I had you guys like even my husband so it turned out good and I felt like a hero 
All right, you guys, I had so much fun doing this video for you. If you could use anything I showed you here today and you enjoyed our family of six pool bag, give your girl a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, you don't want to miss out. Subscribe and hit that bell. Like I said, I'll list everything I can find for you guys down below. And don't forget to answer that question of the day. What type of bag do you guys use? Do you have a system? Are there special products that you have to have by the pool? Let us know in the comments below. I love when you guys say hi to me. It is like my absolute favorite thing. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Leave me a beach ball emoji and let me know that you did. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Moja Girl Learner Marie. Bye.